Documentaries have a few possible styles. There are presenter-led docs, docudramas where you see reconstructions of events, or direct cinema, which follows a subject but doesn't really include interviews. We're going to focus on the objective documentary. It's a documentary based around interviews. Shooting the style requires a lot of planning in some cases, or very little in others. You may have an interview subject you want and can organise in advance, or someone might just be at an event and be compelling to talk to. The most important thing when shooting a documentary is to be prepared. Plan ahead, plan for things that might not even happen. If you could get an interview on location, bring a boom up or at least a mic of some sort, even if you may not use it, just in case. When interviewing, be careful about framing. I have another video all about framing an interview, so take a look at that if you're insured. There's a link in the description. Also think about where you interview someone. Is it quiet enough? Does it have a nice background? If not, cut it. Could you move the person? Could you move them for better light? Check out my video about including background too for some more tips. You should really, really think about light, especially if you're just using natural light. If you're running and gunning, using natural light well is important. Make sure your subject is exposed by getting natural light to fall on their face. If you're indoors, use practical lighting if you can. Watch your white balance if you use practical lights and sunlight because they'll probably be different colour temperatures. Now you'll also need some b-roll for when you get to the edit. This is extra footage from the location that allows you to cut chunks of dialogue out without making it too obvious and to illustrate what actually went on when you were interviewing the person or illustrates what they do or why they're speaking to you. Get loads of it because you never know what might match the interview content when you start editing. And you always need more to cover your cuts. If there's nothing interesting to film on location, think abstractly. I was able to use a photography exhibition about mental health for a documentary about mental health, where most of the contributors were just in office. It would have been really, really boring had I not used something to add B-roll, because people talking in offices isn't something anybody wants to really watch. A family day out added some movement and excitement too, and a kickboxing contributor made sure there was less chance the viewer got bored. B-roll can be anything related to the subject being discussed, so don't feel like you're limited by what's going on around the person you're interviewing. And finally, plan, 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 plan some more. Tell a story, plan the story, write down your story, try and get your contributors to stick to it, and if they don't, cut that out. Things will go wrong, it's not a film set, it's reality, and you're dealing with normal people, not actors. Be calm, be patient, wait for your shots and treat people with respect because they're doing you a favour by allowing you to interview them. Try to remember that when you're out, even if you're really, really stressed. Now go make a documentary. You can stop now.